Good morning, everybody. We're on day uh, 22. Yes. <laughs> We're on a very long morning and um, we had room inspections this morning for the first time. Uh, they've been telling us we're gonna have room inspections for the past three weeks, but we finally actually had it uh, this morning. Um, and it was actually really quick and kind of anticlimactic. Uh, they just came in uh, and for Ha and I, they came in and they're like, this, it smells good in here. Okay, it looks good, bye. And they left. <laughs> and now we're practicing our, uh, we're just practicing for our briefing, which is coming up. And it's also Phoenix's birthday today. Woo! So we just did our briefing and it was actually really interesting. We've been having a lot of presentations that we've been needing to do in the past few days and we have another presentation today too. Um, we've gone to that point in CTI where we have less trainings and we have more presentations and paperwork and just getting ready for our first project. And it's definitely nerve wracking, but I think we're doing a really good job as a team with our presentations and being prepared for our presentations. Um, one cool thing that we did at the briefing was learn more about like our lodging. And the cabins that we're gonna be staying in look really cool. Um, looks really modern they just redid it. So I'm really excited for that. And we also got to learn more about the community of Almond, Wisconsin as well. It's a really small community. There's like 400 people that live there. <laughs> That's crazy. And the closest, food place, like a uh, Walmart is like 30 minutes away. So it's gonna be a very rural area, which is really cool. Um, we also got to learn about the demographics. Seems like there's gonna be a lot, a lot more women in Almond um, than there are men, uh, according to a census from 2019 anyways. But yeah, now we have some time. We're gonna get some food for lunch and we have another presentation later today. And it's Phoenix's birthday, so hopefully we're gonna do something for him as well. Keep you updated. Ha and I are going down to Dollar General. Dollar Fresh. Uh, oops, Dollar Fresh. <laughs> right across the street here, you can sort of see it in the distance, down there. We're gonna go down there and get some cake for Phoenix really quick. Um, since we have some time, we have like an hour and a half to eat food. So we're just gonna go down and grab some cake. I might get some cookies because I'm running out of <laughs> snacks. And then uh, come back and make lunch. But it's so pretty out here today. The sky is so pretty. But I think this is where we had, um, right down here is where we had the bonfire the other day. Oh my gosh, what is all this mud? Let's not walk through this. <laughs> Hi is directing us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. Okay. All right, so we'll see you soon. So I just wanted to take a minute and say it smells beautiful out here. You know, that's really random, but the weather is so nice. Um, it's not exactly the be most beautiful field in the world, nor is that factory very pretty, but it's a beautiful day out here. And yeah, I'm just appreciative, really excited. We only have until Friday and then we're going to be going to Wisconsin. I can't wait to go to Wisconsin. But it, it's definitely really nice to enjoy Iowa while we're here. Here we are, Dollar Fresh. While we're here, I'm going to get some strawberry mini pretzels and some cookies. Yummy! We're walking right by Phoenix. Trying to hide the cake. So one thing that is super cool is that there were a, sorry, there was a team at Camp Helen Brockman last year at the exact same time that I was doing my last AmeriCorps service. I was doing AmeriCorps State last year and I was at New River Trail State Park working as a historical interpreter there. It's just really cool to think about where I was last year and where this team was last year and how they were at a place that we we're about to go to which is Camp Helen Brockman. And they worked on a lot of trail work and um, building restoration. So it's gonna be cool to see their trails and stuff when we go there to work. Yeah. 
So we just finished our second and final presentation of the day and I got some really good feedback and I'm just really excited. Um, each of us had to speak about one of the different AmeriCorps programs and I spoke about state and national, which is the largest program under AmeriCorps. And the reason I wanted to talk about this one so badly and do the research on this one is because state and national is what I started with last, uh, well, I'd say last year was technically last year because 2021, but it was only a few months ago. I was doing the interpretive trails program down at New River Trail State Park and I was working as a historical interpreter there. Anyways, that's why I wanted to talk so badly about the state slash national program. And what was really cool is that afterwards when we were getting feedback for our presentation, Angela um, told me that, that I did the best on the uh, state and national program so far of any of the teams. And she really liked how I tied it into my personal experience and did a lot of research there. Uh, I just, that was just really nice validation because I'm so passionate about state and national and I'm just so passionate about AmeriCorps. And so I was just really excited to hear that I did a good job. But um, now we're on break. Well, some of us are on break. The VSTs, which is the, um, the rep role where uh, they work with safety in the vehicles. Um, that's Connor and Adam. They're still off doing stuff, vehicle inspection and uh, tool checkout and stuff like that. But the rest of us get some time off now and it's uh, greatly needed. Um, I've been working nonstop for this pa these past few days and just really tired and ready for break. <laughs> It's time to clean the van. We're gonna wash it. And it's beautiful out. Time to wash the van. Is this where we're washing it right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they're backing up it. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Right. All the life of driving in a huge van. Needing someone to help back up in just small spaces. So, oh, nice. car wash brushes. <laughs> you gotta wrap the hose back up, set the water off. Here we go. Did they make this plastic for cleaning the bag? Did they make this plastic for cleaning the bag? Oh, watch out. Oh, that's mine. Like this. Hey. Get him! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> I'm gonna climb this tree definitely. Adam and I are going to the Dollar Fresh again. Well, I mean, not Adam hasn't been th there today, but I have, but I'm going back now. Hey, it's so beautiful. Look at the sky, oh my goodness. I just noticed this. But there are some corn husks just like randomly on the ground out here. <laughs> What's more Iowa than that? <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Phoenix. Happy birthday to you. Second fret, second string. And remember to get the best sound out of every string. Uh, you're gonna be pressing uh, as hard as you can, and then also pressing just above the fret, which is these little metal things. So get as close to the fret as you can, just above it. Not on top of it and not below it. Where's my guitar when I need it? <laughs> we have like four. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good. Now you can pluck it. Sounds good. Stop. Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Right, oh. right, 
Okay. I don't want you guys to keep going. Right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Tell me why you have to go and do me like that. Nothing hurts worse than a knife in my back. You know you're the reason for my pain, and now we're done. Yeah. Now we're supposed to die. <laughs> <laughs> morning everyone it is uh, I think it's Tuesday no it's Wednesday <laughs> it's Wednesday and we have a pretty chill day today um Ha and I actually went back to bed after morning muster because there's like not much that we have to do today which is really great um I feel like we all need a little bit of a break oh there's Ha speaking of Ha hey Ha says hey uh anyways I have a <laughs> I have a meeting at 10 30 with uh Angela and Emily, because we're CR reps, that's our two-on-one meeting. I don't really know what that entails, but I'll let you know. Yeah, we got No, no, over. he's still trapped in his well, body. No, no, we're gonna put him Yeah, he's still trapped in my body, hoping to get out. But I'm like, but you know, me, as the fish, be like, nah, you're blocked off. Yeah. Chris says he's being controlled by Chris the fish. His body's being controlled. So, right, huh? We'll see if this comes up really? very <laughs> no, if, if the original yeah. Chris, you know, fights back or something. Oh. <laughs> What do you Nobody. mean? Okay. Ned, what do you mean? Chris well, said he's uh, being controlled. No, no, no. The fish is con said he's been controlling him. Man, okay. Chris is being anything. controlled by Chris the fish. Right. Zion right. agrees, right, Zion? I agree with this. this is wild. Yep. <laughs> Kyle! Kyle! <laughs> you don't even notice. The cow! <laughs> that is cool. The hammock up up in the tree. It's like up in the tree. That's so cool. What are you guys doing? Hold on, hold on. Ha's abandoning me for this hammock in the sky. What? <laughs> I did not say die. I said you're abandoning me for this hammock in the sky. Oh, but you said I was gonna get up on the hammock and then die. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I didn't say that. <laughs> jeez. It's very interesting to have a hammock up here. In this tree. Oh my god, please don't die. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. So we came out here to go walking around and I got abandoned by Ha when she found a hammock. And Zion found a hammock too, and I'm 5'9 and I can't, um, too big to squeeze in next to anybody in a hammock. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk around by myself. It's a really nice, beautiful day out here. Yay, panorama. Wait, I don't think this counts as a panorama, but, or does it? I, I don't know. There's the beautiful dumpsters. Wait, right there. You just shot the door, the front door on a, on a Girl Scout. I want girl. I wanted some Girl Scout cookies. How okay. would you like to be approved for a loan today? <laughs> <laughs> All the Great Lakes counseling service. Uh, counseling? <laughs> I make a decision when you yell at me. You know what you're saying? I can't hear what you're saying. Can you hear what I'm saying or not? This is very aggressive. Can I speak to your manager? Yes, I have sandwiches. How can I help you? I'm on a conference call. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Uh, send help. Send help. Send help. Send help. So we're about to have our last bonfire of CTI before we all go off to our project. And um, one theme of tonight is uh, putting some things in the fire that you want to like about yourself that you don't want anymore. I guess you could say there's a lot of things that I need to let go of. 
um, let go of. That's that's what I was trying to say. That was the right word. But uh, I have a lot of them. Um, yeah. You a firebender now? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Time to let go of all these things. I mean, just throw it in. Okay. Ah, that didn't work. Oh my god. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Nice. It's in there now. Good morning, everybody. It's induction day, and then tomorrow we leave for Wisconsin. We're doing a uh, little unit meeting or something like that with Fritz now. And then we have to pack all our stuff and then we have induction. Send help. Oh my God. I have way too much stuff to pack. Time for induction soon. Well, for those of you who don't know me, I am Mae Costello, and I am on Team Factory One, aka Team Hashtag. When I started my journey with AmeriCorps, it was in May of 2021, and I started with the AmeriCorps State Program called the Interpretive Trail Program. And the same day I graduated from college, I was on the road in Southwest Virginia, where I'd be working at a state park for the next five months as a historical interpreter, leading tours for park visitors. Just like a lot of you, I was just entering a, a new stage of life. For me, it was the end of college. For you, it, it may be the same, or maybe you just finished high school, or you needed to find a place to start while you were trying to figure yourself out. And AmeriCorps sounded great for the selflessness and service it brings, along with the promise of new friends, and travel. Uh, whatever the reason, you're probably feeling what I felt back in May and to what I feel to a certain extent now. Doubt, fear, and worry that you're not capable. Maybe you don't think you're smart enough or you don't think you're independent enough or strong enough. These were all things I felt adamantly with my first AmeriCorps state service term. Could I live on my own so far away from home? Could I act selflessly and commit my heart and my hard work and all of me to serving park visitors, or in our case, different communities? I felt insecure in many ways that felt very difficult to get past. But over the five months of my first service term, I led cave tours that helped me get over my fear of heights I learned how to budget my money and take care of myself on my own. Uh, but most of all, I learned that I am smart and I am kind and I am perfectly capable of loving myself and my community and serving even during the hardest times. And I did have some hard times in those five months and I will guarantee that we will have hard times in these next 10 months of interpreting. But it's really important that we all know that we are capable. We are smart, we are kind, and we will represent NCCC in the best way that we can. We will work hard, we will struggle, but we will strive and, and thrive and support one another. We will make a difference in the communities we serve because we are members of NCCC and we are strong. Thank you. Kyle is making some black bean soup. And then here's some like vegetable thingies, a vegetable medley, it's really good looking. I'm good with words, you can tell. <laughs> yeah, ha, dance, woo, woo. Yeah, ha, oh my gosh. I need to take dance lesson lessons. <laughs> Now we're cleaning and packing up our kitchen and it's a little crowded in here but this is fun this is a life and uh yeah okay <laughs> oh crushed chips i'm just kidding i don't want that 
time to pack the van tonight with all our kitchen stuff so that we do not have to do so in the morning because we'll be leaving here at, I do believe, 7 a.m. That's our beautiful black van right there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hand you guys, could someone grab this? Oh yeah. Thanks. <laughs> this is fun. And as you can see, we, our van is pretty big. So it's because there's eight of us. So we have a lot of people sitting in here and we have a lot of space back here to do packing. So I'm headed to bed. It's only like 10 o'clock, but we have to get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow because we're going to Wisconsin. It's time to leave. Oh, I'm so excited. We've been at this campus for the past three and a half weeks and it's been an amazing experience, but it's time to go and actually start working and I'm so excited. Everyone's packing up their van bright and early and we're about to be done packing up ours as well. Ours is the one right behind the blinking one. Leaving campus for a while. We're about to get into our van. It's so beautiful out here today and Team Green is saying bye to each other, which is the team leaders. Yay! Hi, Nikki. Say hi, everybody. Hi! Ah. Ah. Hi! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> We're about to go. Phoenix, say hi. And ha. Mississippi River. Woo! Here we are going over it. It's the Mississippi River. Me neither. Wow, this is awesome. Look at all those train cars over there in the back. Or storage units, I'm not sure. So we just stopped at a rest stop and now we're switching drivers. I was the navigator for a while and now I don't have to be. Um, not that I mind being the navigator, but I'm tired. I want to take a nap. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. All right, and we're in Wisconsin now. Woo! That's cool. They made that world's biggest M for me. Nobody else, just me. Babe is the only word that starts with an M in the world. So, yeah. Not McDonald's like that sign there. No, it doesn't exist. No. <laughs> We're here at Culver's with butter burgers and frozen custard for lunch. Uh, I've never heard of it, but apparently it's a really good fast food restaurant. They have vegetarian options for me and Kyle. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of a last minute. We didn't realize we were doing this stop for lunch. Um, according to Kyle, you don't pass a Culver three times. So like you have to stop at one. If you pass like three, you have to stop at one. Stop with the lights! Right, Kyle? Stop with the lights! Shit, what am I saying? Uh, <laughs> talking about Culver's, you don't stop at three of them or something like that? Yeah, you can't pass three Culver's. Without stopping. You have to, you have to if you see three, you have to stop at the third one. Okay. Is that something they advertise? That's the Midwest thing. It's okay. It's the Midwest rule. <laughs> okay. All right, awesome. So this is where we're gonna get food. You know, this is sort of reminding me of Southwest Virginia, all the fields 
but uh, the fields in Southwest Virginia are a lot more green. Almond, Wisconsin. like some kind of plane or a helicopter or something. I could tell you. <laughs> this is a perfect entering camp song. Here we are. I like how it says where the children's Oh there it is. Camp Helen Brockman. I like how it's entering for the yeah, first yeah. time. <laughs> what, is, what does it mean? Maybe we should work here. They do something with that sign. Coming into our new home for the first time. This is so exciting. So we just had our little orientation meeting the two of the staff members here at camp, which was really awesome, but a little overwhelming. There's a lot of information. Um, but one thing we did learn is that we're gonna be helping all these underprivileged kids. I mean, we knew that already, but just hearing it and hearing the impact that it makes and how this camp has changed lives and that they have staff that came back after being campers, it's just really exciting. And uh, it's just, it's a big deal. It's profound. It's it's really wonderful what we're doing. Um, even though it might at times feel redundant, we're gonna help make this camp that makes so many kids' lives better. And I'm really excited for that. Um, I say the word excited a lot. I need to get, I need to expand my vocabulary a little. But one thing that they also told us is that um, this is near a military base. So they'll be like, uh, they'll be practicing something called a sonic boom and also like bomb testing where they like, they throw fake, uh, like flares out of out of airplanes, which is pretty cool. A little bit freaky. They also told us that there's a lot of like um, hunting around here, so if we hear just gunshots and stuff, that's normal. Apparently, the cheese here is amazing because it's Wisconsin. I'm lactose intolerant, but I'm gonna still have to try some of the Wisconsin cheese because we're in Wisconsin, so I have to do that. <laughs> there's a lot of animals here that I had at New River Trail State Park where I worked last, um, like rattlesnakes and the black bears. But the thing that they want us to worry about the most are ticks. Also one cool thing is that we can go sledding down the hill and like onto the lake where uh, the lake is frozen right now and it's apparently like 23 inches of ice. So it's pretty safe. Anyways, we're in the house now. This is my room. I'll do a better house tour video thing soon. Um, I'm just really, really excited. And we're about to go and unpack our truck I mean van, I keep calling it a truck. We're gonna unpack our van and just figure out what to do after that. But we have the whole weekend to just not work. And then on Monday we'll start work. So who knows what we're gonna be doing. I'll keep you updated. So just a quick update on what we've been doing this evening after attempting and kind of failing to pack. I packed about half of my stuff. We went out to the kitchen. Oops, sorry, there I go again with my hand. Um, we went out to the kitchen and we made pizza for dinner. It was supposed to be my turn to cook, but let me be honest with you. It's 
been my turn to cook for like four days now. <laughs> But it was Phoenix's birthday, the first time it was my turn to cook, and we just ended up getting pizza. And then the next night, Emily cooked instead, because, I don't know, I don't really have an excuse that time. Emily just said she was fine with cooking, and I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> and tonight, um, I was also gonna cook, but then we were also exhausted from moving into a new place, um, and our sponsors were really nice, and they left us some frozen pizzas, so we just did frozen pizzas. <laughs> And uh, now some of my teammates are gonna go to the store and get us groceries for the week. Um, also, my good friend Ha, who is obviously on my team, she is going to get some CeraVe moisturizing cream for me because I'm running out of it. I gave her some money for that. And uh, I'm be lazy again. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go with them. They only needed a few people to go, so I'm not the only one that's staying behind. But still, <laughs> I'm kind of bad. <laughs> I've just kind of been lazy. <laughs> but it's because I'm so tired and kind of overwhelmed. Excited, but overwhelmed and just ready to relax. I took a shower here and the house showers, or the cabin showers are so nice. They're even nicer than the showers at uh, campus, which were pretty good. So yeah, I just really, I think we got pretty lucky with our housing situation. Um, I've heard from some other people that they did not have as much space on their projects, so. We're very lucky to each have our own room and to have such a nice place. I'm very thankful for that. And now I'm about to FaceTime with my friend back home, Sally, who I haven't been able to talk to in a while. So I'm really thrilled about that. I was about to say excited again. I'm really thrilled about that. <laughs> All right, we're having our first fire in the house. Uh, I mean, in the fireplace, obviously, not in the house. Uh, yeah. No, we're not burning the house down, but yeah. It's, I don't know what time it is. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. A certified, certified hash brown moment. Okay, whatever that means, but what time is it? It is, this doesn't, oh, 1040, wait, no, that's an hour ahead. It's 942, so yeah. Okay, this is kind of a random video, but yeah, we're having fire. Isn't this nice though? So this is our little living room and our kitchen and I'll give you a tour of the rest of the place later but yeah, yeah. watching um Moana on a computer with the fire with surround sound system. This is such a cool cabin. <laughs> Good morning. It is, uh, what's today? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. We all slept in a lot. Well, some of us are still asleep because we're all so exhausted. We stayed up like five million years into the night last night. <laughs> and um, I hadn't slept the night before that, so I was like dead on my feet by the end of the night. But uh, I don't know what the plan is yet, but we're eating breakfast. Oh man, I'm bad at this. Always, ah, oh, my hand, ah, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, I should have just done this. We're eating breakfast. Look, there we go, <laughs> Adam. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the plan is yet, but yeah, good morning. <laughs> I mean, so they can see me showing you. Oh my gosh, yes, this is an icicle that Kyle's holding. We found it outside because it's really cold. Okay, so you want it closer to you? Oh gosh. Closer still. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi. I like turtles. So we're about to walk over to the lake just for fun. As you can see, it's raining. Hi, ha. Oh As you can see, it's raining. And so all the snow on the ground is turned to ice. Well, most of it. Um, so we have to be really careful. Throw up my rock I would not be able to get 
Here we come upon the, the lake, but oh my gosh, this snow is kind of deep. Wow, this lake is beautiful. So this is the lake that I was telling you guys about with the 23 inches of snow, so it's really thick. This is where he mentioned um, sledding. Wow, that's really deep snow. I think I'm going to step through Chris's footprints. Yeah, I'm going to use your footprints. Wow, I'm walking on ice right now. It's been approved and safety checked. And it's just beautiful. Wow. There's Chris getting a video too. Wow. First time walking on ice, on a, just on a solid lake. And a ice fishing hole. That is really cool. This tree, it's like bent over. And it goes all the way down here. Still not done. Still not done. That is so cool. It's starting to rain, so we're heading back. But one really neat thing is how a lot of these trees are just plant, uh, rooted into the lake. So there's ice all around them, and they're still thriving. You can sort of see the rain falling in the video, too. Is it raining? Yeah. yeah. You can't tell, silly? No. Look at the rain against the ice. Dude. Kind of looks like a frozen... I was going to say frozen lake. It is a frozen lake, duh. I mean, it sort of looks like a normal lake. Yeah, not really. Anyways, it's beautiful. Wow. So, this is my fully unpacked room. Uh, I have four beds. Obviously, I only use one of them. Um, my shoes down here and I just sort of put some of the things I need every day right here like masks and uh, face creams and stuff like that and I put my computer on the chair and kind of my messy cords up here because I have like a million things I need to plug in and yeah that's about it and then here's some laundry I need to get a laundry bag but oh so we've been pretty lazy today other than just going to the lake we haven't really done anything <laughs> Um, and I was supposed to cook tonight, as you know, because I told you I was supposed to cook last night and the night before that and everything. And I really was going to cook tonight. I really was. However, I found out I don't have one of the most important ingredients I need. I was going to make veggie burgers. And we had um, chickpeas in Iowa. And we, I thought we brought them here, but we didn't. So Connor's cooking tonight. I feel really bad about that. But it is what it is. Um, where did I put my... Ah, here it is. Sorry. Got sidetracked. Anyways, that's my room. And then we go out into the very dark hallway. I think everyone's like taking naps and stuff. Everyone's pretty tired. But that's where you go through the hallway here. There's the bathroom, lots of rooms. We all have our own room. And then you get to the living room area that I've shown you a few times. And yeah, that's it. It's just a really cute little place. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we also have this little, um, outdoor area out here and it's been raining all day long so you can't really tell but it's raining right now makes the outdoor very icy Connor really likes making pierogies. I love making pierogies. they're really good so Cheating. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> so blue said the extra square, so we're going first. Wait, hold on. Okay. Mm. Fairly intelligent. I love these 
still call? Okay. I want to crack the screen. What? That was so anticlimactic. I know. I just said it. What is that sign over here? Like that? <laughs> Good morning everybody. Well, okay. It's not good morning. It's like past noon. Um, we haven't done much this morning, but uh, it's Connor's birthday today and we're probably going to go out to dinner tonight. Um, we're just hanging out in our, uh, I was going to say v VRBO, <laughs> but it's not uh, the cabin that we're staying in. Oh, Adam's wearing my glasses. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure yet what we're doing, but good morning and or good afternoon and yeah. Whoa, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Ah! TV, y'all. Merry Christmas. I might have to move. Hold on. I'm going to move. This is crazy. That could have been this exact one. When, when the teachers start rolling this type of TV out, wow. you know y'all are about to watch the most fire bill. We're on our way. Well, we're about to be on our way to go to dinner for Connor's birthday. What? Oh yeah, it's super icy. Super icy. No traction on the ground. I um. The green dragon. <laughs> Time to go to Walmart shopping again. We have a few last minute things that we forgot that we need, like sugar, which is really important. And the chickpeas that I need for my uh, meal that I keep not being able to make, slash not making just because I'm lazy. Um, and I'm also just gonna get a few personal things like blankets. A, a blanket because I have a really small blanket and a pillow. Hello. We're at dinner now at Hilltop Bar and Grill for Connor's 24th birthday. Woo, say hi. <laughs> hi. Good morning, everyone. We're starting our first full work day. Oh my, are you okay, Phoenix? He just fell. Uh, I think it's okay. It's really, he's okay. Uh, but as you can see, it's flurrying a little bit, snow flurrying. We're about to start our first day of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you were keeping your work, dude. 